What's up, my arch fiends of chaos? This is your, this is your king of the night, Vince Valentine, the ex Turk, and I'm coming here with another Final Fantasy theory. You know, coming straight to you. Let me turn this down a little bit. Okay, the theory is: What if Ravis Knox Foray remained alive after the the battle that you never got to see, the battle between him and Arden? Somehow he was still breathing and then later on he was fully recovered how would this affect the thing now this will make the game change a whole bunch because Ravis being alive would change a lot of what is going to happen in Final Fantasy 15 if or better yet there's two paths he could have either survived his battle with Arden or he could have listened to his sister Luna Freya and actually gave the ring and sword to Noctis now Let's, you know, it'd be kind of confusing to, to talk about a theory video where he's still alive after fighting Arden because you had to bring so much up. So let's just change the whole story. What if Ravis listened to Luna Freya and, and wasn't airheaded and actually went to go search out Noctis? Now this will change a whole bunch. Of course... You know, I'm pro, I'm pre, of course, what well, well, it would um, it would still kind of happen that Ravis would still go to the Magitech factory. Now he would not go find or challenge Arden. He would probably wait at the front gate at least. You know, for you know, for Noctis. Now I think there would be a fight between Noctis and Ravis at that point. But just to settle things. And after they get settled things, what would happen is that Noctis and Ravis team up. After after that train thing that splits Gladiolus, Prompto, and Ignis up, it'd be Ravis and, no and Noctis. Now, of course, Noctis would lose his powers, which would make Ravis a good ally to him. You know? Of course, he'd give his father, uh, Noctis, he'd give King Regis' his sword to Noctis. Like he promised, like in the notes he has when he when he does officially die, this would change so much because they then he, okay what would change so much is that they would meet the Emperor as Pharaohus, and of course Emperor Idolus would be like well, why are you betraying me? I gave you everything, I made you high commander. What the fuck, man? What's going on? Of course Ravis wouldn't care, so Ravis would. You know, team up with Noctis and pro they probably defeat Pharaohus right then and there because how strong Ravis is. You gotta remember how strong he is. There's a reason why he's high commander of the Niflheim Empire, but he wouldn't be that way no more. So after that, they they'd, they'd regroup with the, um, their friends. The thing that would change the most in the story is that you won't have to fight Ravis as Ravis Ontaria. You know. And of course, being around Gladiolus, Prompto, Ignis, and stuff, I'm pretty sure there would be no chance for Arden to kill Ravis Knox Foray. Now, Ravis Knox Foray would be in this continuity to be smarter and knows he couldn't take on Arden if he wanted to. So, you know, he would probably train 10 years with Gladiolus, Ignis, and Prompto, and 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 Aranea during the ten years of the Star Scourge. You know, even begrudgingly, he'd still be part of the group. And you know what would happen? And then ten years will pass. Noctis meets up with them. That that would that would be the same thing like it was in the game, except the difference is I think this time they would have even a lot of a better shot with Arden. I think. After all that, Efrit would be. I think Efrit would be defeated. Efrit would be defeated faster, because how strong Ravis is, you know. Of course, it still happens. Sheba would still defeat Efrit, so Efrit would be defeated. Now, since Ravis is str is stronger than Gladiolus, Ignis, and Prompto, when you know Arden used that power to. You know, weaken them to st or use. I think it's the stop ability. It wouldn't affect. Um, it would only affect Ravis for a little bit. So, a few seconds, Ravis would join the battle. 
they would both beat Arden, except Arden would be beaten faster without even the need of Astros. Now, because Arden is immortal, of course, this will change the story a lot. And what I mean a lot, a lot. Now, what would happen is, you know, after they defeat Arden in battle, you know, he'd still take Prompto's picture with him. And, of course, he'd tell Ravis, since now Ravis would be friends with Noctis at this point. You know, even though he don't like Lucius Kylans, he would accept, um, he would accept Noctis. Noctis would be like a friend to him. Since, you know, he, since, you know, he was close to his sister. But anyways, let's get back to the thing. Okay. Noctis would say, you know what, you can have my throne. After I die, you can have my throne. Because all of them, they knew they're gonna. Now, we don't know if, for sure if Gladiolus, Prompto, and Ignis joins Noctis. So, again, that's due to interpretation. But if they survive, I'm pretty sure they guard. They, they, I'm pretty sure they'd guard and protect Ravis as the new king. Now, Ravis would name Insomnia the new Tenebrae and make a better city. Even though he's not Lucius Kylio, I'm pretty sure Noctis would give the throne to Ravis. Because Ravis, I mean, because Noctis has to die. In order to stop Lu uh, Arden Lucius Kyler from coming back, the bloodline would be in right there. So the, the Insomnia would be ruled by a new king from Tenebrae, the Nox Foray. And I'm pretty sure Ravis will make a big city. And I'm pretty sure Co Marshall Core, Monica, Talcon, and everybody would pretty much, you know, live in new Insomnia and protect the world from any impending evil any future evil you know so any any evil that comes their way there and I'm pretty sure Ravis would be a demon hunter even though he'd be king he'd also be a demon hunter and try to get stronger because that's Ravis's whole life you know is about fighting but I'm pretty sure Noctis would have gave him the throne because at this point Ravis would Ravis would have been good friends with Noctis if he would have you know done what his sister asked and not try to go fight Arden so he would, you know, and saw me would be having a new direction, and it would be a lot better. I mean, it'd be a little bit of a happier ending, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't change what happened. Noctis would still have to die in order to destroy the ring. But I think that's going to be the end of this theory because I'm running over time. And I want to say, may the crystal be with you guys. Have a good day. This is the best, I, I did the best I could to explain this. And to explain the changes, so I, you know, sorry, this is the best I could have came up with.